Checking in on the Huawei P10, we made a comment in our full review that we weren't going to be running this phone through our normal, intensive, real camera review process, which garnered more than a few disappointed comments. Our initial assessment that this hardware was exceedingly similar to the Mate 9. Well, we're still standing by that, but after a few more days shooting, we do see a few subtle differences. First, we should point out the major differences in features between the P and the Mate. The Mate features a more flexible microphone array for shooting video. The mics in this mode will try to focus on where audio sources are coming from. The P10 omits this, and instead gains a new portrait mode. This has caused some confusion in our comments as it's called the same thing as Apple's depth of field mode but does something very different. If we're comparing software bokeh blur to software bokeh blur, the correct comparison is still Apple's portrait mode to Huawei's wide aperture mode, and Huawei's solution is still superior. Huawei's portrait mode uses a similar background blur processing, but then add some of the beauty mode editing you would normally see from a selfie camera. It works better than any selfie camera I've ever used, but it's still based on augmenting or fixing skin tone and blurring details. Add in a toggle for artistic filtering, basically a burn tool with vignetting, and that's Huawei's portrait mode in a nutshell. Now, as to the p 10 standard camera modes, we see subtle shifts in JPEG processing, very minor differences in saturation and contrast. As I shoot almost all of our samples handheld, we might hypothesize that some of this could be attributed to differences in focus and metering, but there are enough small differences in processing that it's entirely possible the p 10 represents a software update over the Mate. Why only a software update? Well, looking at the raw files, the differences between these two phones are almost non-existent. In fact, organizing media for this video, I accidentally swapped two folders and didn't notice until I had almost finished this script. Not that it really seemed to matter, apparently. So where's that leave us with the Huawei P10 camera? This is a phenomenal shooter, easily my favorite stills camera out of all the phones we have in-house to review at the moment. This phone delivers some of the most photographic images we've managed to capture from a mobile, but we still don't see the benefit of producing a full 10 minute or longer UHD collection of photo and video samples, only to say repeatedly, yup, it's a lot like the Mate 9. We have a full real camera review on the Mate 9, and we'll continue linking to that as our primary resource for the P10. If we can get our hands on a P10 Plus though, well then we'll jump in again for a fresh take on what Huawei has to offer. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full P10 coverage, including reviews and comparisons, and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, author of Take Better Photos, Smartphone Photography for Noobs, aka Some Gadget Guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.